So Splunk recently changed the pricing model for their previously free Fundamentals 1 course and pretty much changed the entire format of the Splunk free courses and Splunk Fundamental 1 courses, pretty much making it a little bit inaccessible for people who want to take basic Splunk training. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you some free Splunk resources that you can use to learn Splunk for the Splunk Fundamentals 1 level of skill so that um, you can have some skills on Splunk if you're not looking to do the Splunk Fundamental 1 or you just don't have the financial resources to do the Splunk Fundamentals 1 with the way it's newly designed. So let's get right into it. What is up guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel I talk about cybersecurity. In this video, like I said, I'm gonna be giving you some free resources that you can use to learn and practice your skills in Splunk for the Splunk Fundamentals 1 level, uh, which is the Splunk Core User level, and I, I believe as well as as far as the Splunk Power User. I think these trainings are good enough to get you to that level of using Splunk, uh, more uh, specifically for the analysis and detection side of Splunk rather than the, the engineering part. Uh, but let's get into it. I'm also going to show you like some resources that are going to help you with a little bit of the engineering side of Splunk. So let's get right into it. So the very first resource I'm going to be um, showing you is um, the boss of the SOC data sets that are in cyberdefenders.org. So cyberdefenders.org is essentially a platform uh, that hosts a bunch of different like blue team CTF uh, challenges and things like that. So uh, they have like the, the data sets from the boss of the SOC for uh for uh the version one version two and version three and these three data sets are like um really good for like you know learning how to investigate in splunk so we have this one right here this is for the boss of the sock one um this is for boss of the sock two um and then boss of the sock three which is I, I believe aws based so these are some like three three really good resources you can use to like kind of just getting your feet wet with splunk um, and like there are a bunch of like write-ups out there that can help you if you run into any trouble. So I definitely recommend checking these out for uh, getting like kind of the basics of Splunk down. Um, so definitely check these out. All you require is just to create an account with Cyber Defenders, and um, you can get started with um, practicing with these different data sets. Next, we have TryHack Me, of course. So we have this room here in TryHack Me. Uh, this is the Blue Team Primary Series, uh, part of the Blue Team Primary Series, and this is just a basic Splunk room. Um, it, it covers like the basics of, Spr of Splunk. So um, yeah, so it's like the basics, the basic things in Splunk, like um, some of the basic commands or basic like um, queries or uh, just pretty much the basics of Splunk uh, is covered in this room. And then moving further, we have this. You or you are text. You are tasked with um working with the boss of the sock data set. Uh, so there's the link to to that. Uh, you can check that out. But all of the, a lot of these platforms already have the boss of the sock data set already hosted. So you can just you know use these platforms to do that. So you don't have to like download it by yourself. Except you want to do that. So yeah, this is also part of like the boss of the sock top thing. So you're kind of investigating a ransomware. Um, situation and then you're also investigating the advanced, advanced persistent threat i started this a while back but i never finished it i definitely would try to finish this sooner or later but yeah this is like part of the blue blue primer series so you can definitely check these out like i said there are, there are a bunch of like write-ups out there that can help you there's another one again this is a splunk 101 room so this is a really good one again for learning the fundamentals so like from navigating Splunk, Splunk apps, adding data, Splunk queries, Sigma rules, dashboards. This is like this is like a this is a really good representation of the Splunk um, uh, core user certification or the Splunk fundamentals one training. Um, I use use this as part of my of, as part of what I was using to uh, study for the Splunk fundamentals one. So this is another good one. This also on try hack me. Then we have. Splunk 2, which is the boss of the SOC 2 data set, I believe. Yeah, this is the boss of the SOC 2 data set. Uh, you can use this for the investigation as well. Uh, we have Conti. So this is like a, a, a challenge scenario where you're kind of investigating as well. So you can also use this to learn. Um, this was uh, this was designed by, this was created by Bohan Zhang. Uh, Bohan is a really, really, really uh, great guy, really smart guy in terms of security. So um, this is definitely a really great challenge to kind of try out Splunk as well. Um, we also have another one. I think this is a, yeah, this is the boss of the SOC data set for uh, boss of the SOC 3. So 
definitely try out the boss of the sock one and two first or like the basics room before you get into these like i said there 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 are a bunch of um uh what's that called there are a bunch of write-ups out there that can help you with these if you if you struggle with it because of course you're learning something new so you might struggle with it so um and then oh by the way the question was asked by uh willius maximus so it was asking about uh the splunk uh so i told him i was gonna do a video so uh, another one that I'm recommending is my resource from my home lab video where I show you how to, first of all, um, install Splunk for security event monitoring. So I show you how to like install Splunk on Ubuntu server. Um, and then um, I also show you how to forward event logs from uh, Windows to Splunk using the universal forwarder. This is more of the engineering side of Splunk. It's really basic, but it's more like around the engineering like um, part of Splunk where you're kind of like figuring out how to deploy Splunk and also like ingestation of, of data. Um, so so those two videos, I definitely recommend you checking them out as part of my cybersecurity home lab. Um, that can help you kind of get like the engineering side of Splunk as well. Um, so, you know, I think it's kind of weird the way like Splunk kind of changed the whole model of their, of their training. I mean, I don't have any like opinions about it but um i think you know regardless of how the splunk training is now designed um regardless of how if it's expensive or if you can afford it or not i still i still think these free resources are definitely great to check out to get some splunk skills and splunk knowledge so that you know whether or not you're able to afford the training or you know whether or not splunk makes the training available uh, and accessible you still have the splunk skills and trust me like with these alone you definitely are like you know at least like beginner level like skill of splunk um a little above beginner level in my opinion uh, if you're able to complete these different uh, boss of the sock data sets some other ones you can check out um range force has some splunk um training as well but you, that's definitely paid for so um you know that's you know you have to pay for that uh, so it's not free uh range force has that um there's also training on splunk in the blue team level one certification so that's also paid for but once again these free resources are more, more than enough to get your feet wet with splunk and kind of have a good understanding of splunk so if you're looking to just like try out splunk learn how to use the tool querying and all of that investigation like you know tr throwing yourself into like deep investigations with splunk these can help you out and also if you're looking to you know kind of understand like the engineering piece of like uh, of deployment um, of universal forwarders uh, all of that and also like ingesting data from an endpoint into Splunk this can also show you that so I'll leave a link to all of these in the description um, and I hope that you found this uh, video valuable um, Willius Maximus as well as anyone out there who's looking for uh, free Splunk 3 so that'll be the end for this video if you like this video please be sure to smash the like button and be sure to subscribe if you're new subscribe and share this video with anyone who has been recently looking for Splunk training um, and wants to maybe like learn more about Splunk, they definitely would find it valuable. Once again, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.